This is Global News Hour at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Chacon. Alberta universities and colleges are bracing themselves for the fallout of this week's provincial budget. Some post-secondary institutions say the funding lash is significant. And as Julia Wong reports, students are preparing themselves for the ripple effects. As the province continues to open up and ease COVID-19 restrictions, an Edmonton ICU doctor is reminding people to be vigilant. Nicole Stilger joins us live in the newsroom with more. Nicole, we often hear this reminder, but what prompted this warning? Well, there have been two additional COVID-19 deaths in Alberta. Both were residents of continuing care facilities in Calgary. In the past 24 hours, 97 new cases have been reported, bringing the total to more than 5,600. The city will host information sessions Monday and Tuesday for affected residents. We have those details on our website. Edmonton's Two Sergeants Brewing has closed its doors because of what they say was bureaucratic delays from the city. Chris Chacon joins us live from the Genalta facility. And Chris, the fire started at about 10 last night. Is it still burning now? Kent, the fire is absolutely still going. And just standing outside the facility, the smell of the smoke is incredibly strong. Now, if you have a look right behind me, you can still see there is a lot of smoke still billowing in the air. It happened around 3 yesterday morning in the hamlet of Evansburg. That's where our Chris Chacon is this noon hour with more. So, Chris, a woman and teenager are still unaccounted for. Well, that's right. I just got off the phone with RCMP and they say at this time no bodies have been recovered. Now, right behind me, this is the home. Alberta Health Services issued a public health order Friday to close Grace Life Church. But today, the parking lot full of churchgoers attending morning services. Canada's first reported case of a rare swine flu has been confirmed in central Alberta. But the province's top doctor says there isn't much to worry about. <laughs> From a grand entry to a grand honor. The annual International Peace and Pow Wow Festival takes place at the end of every February with thousands in attendance. Krisha Khan, Global News. Welcome to the Blood Tribe Reserve, the largest in Canada. Instead of seeing billboards of popular ads or products, you instead see ads about drug prevention. The issue of drug use in this community is no secret, but it wasn't always this way. Protesters are demanding that the Lethbridge police officer involved in this incident is not only shamed, but fired from the force. It's been two years since the massive march was held on Washington after the inauguration of U.S. President Donald Trump. It's pretty cold outside. Environment Canada has the temperature at minus 16 degrees. From a fireworks show to plenty of lights and of course... An evening full of thrilling bull riding. This is the second of 10 PBR events that will be held all throughout Canada in the coming months. Krishikon, Global News.